Whipping egg whites? Is this chemical change or physical change? If you're not sure, stay tuned. A chemical change is a change that produces a new substance. Usually, two or more materials are combined and a new substance is formed. For example, explosions like fireworks are chemical changes. A chemical change always involves a chemical reaction. Therefore, the starting materials and the final products are chemically different from one another. An important question you should ask here is, was the substance formed present before the reaction? If the answer is no, then it is a chemical change. A physical change involves changes in physical properties. The starting and end materials of a physical change are the same, even though they may look different. For example, melting an ice cube is a physical change. Energy has been added to create a phase change from solid to liquid. However, no chemical changes took place here. The water molecules are still water molecules. So, how can you tell whether it is a physical change or a chemical change? Well, there are some telltale signs of a chemical change, such as light, heat, color change, gas production, odor, or sound. The smell of roasting turkey, these are signs that chemical changes are happening. The next time when you bake a cake, look for the bubbles. Inside each bubble is a little bit of gas. If you see signs of a chemical reaction, it is most likely a chemical change. If these signs are absent, the characteristic is probably a physical property, therefore a physical change. Please note, the only way to be completely certain whether a change is physical or chemical is to perform a chemical analysis, such as mass spectroscopy, on the substance to determine its composition before and after a reaction. So, can you differentiate physical changes from chemical changes? Well, let's have a mini quiz. Tell me if the following examples are physical changes or chemical changes. Are you ready? Action. Number one, making cereal for breakfast by combining the milk and the cereal. Physical change. Number two, eating the cereal. Chemical change by digestion. Number three, mixing Coke and Mentos. Mmm, this is a tricky one. Although it looks like a chemical change due to the CO2 gas that is being released, CO2 gas was present in the Coke before mixing. Therefore, this is a physical change. Number four, crumpling of a piece of paper. physical change. Number five, cracking an egg. Physical change. Number six, making a fried egg. Chemical change. Number seven, rusty pipes in abandoned buildings. Chemical change. Iron, Fe, became iron oxide, Fe2O3. Number eight, blending a smoothie. A physical change. Number nine, boiling water. Physical change. Number 10, mixing vinegar and baking soda. Chemical change. Number 11. Ice cream melting on a hot day. A physical change. Number 12. Putting some sugar into water and stirring. Physical change. You can't see the sugar but it hasn't disappeared. The sugar has been broken down into pieces that are too small to see. Number 13, grilling meat. Chemical change. Number 14, chopping vegetables. 
physical change. In a nutshell, a chemical change produces a new substance, while a physical change does not. A material may change shapes or forms while undergoing a physical change. However, if no chemical reactions occur and no new compounds are being produced, it is a physical change. Finally, coming back to whipping egg whites. Is it chemical change or physical change? Yes, this is an example of a physical change because its compositions did not change. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.